I do wonder, what should we do to him? There's a lot of options. Almost too many to choose. <laughs> you tell me. I'm just laughing at the idea that we actually succeeded in something again without having you messing it up. Why would I mess it up? I've been waiting to do this. You never told me that. Well, now you know. Congratulations. You just reminded me of one of those bratty girls that used to push me into my locker in the beginning of last year. <laughs> oh, really? What were their names? I think I remember them. I can't think of them right now, but I'll try. I just know that those spoiled idiots tried to dump trash on me in the bathroom stalls, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. If those girls did that to me, I bet I would've tried to stop them. That's so childish! <laughs> I can imagine you going, Hey, can you please stop? You're kinda hurting me and what you're doing is... <laughs> it's hysterical! Ugh, don't remind me. I was a rule abider last year. Ugh. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> God, I'm so cringe. <laughs> Thomas, what's wrong with you? I just thought about Roselle and Amber. Um, what about them? I honestly might have a grudge against them now. I'm remembering stuff that they did. Oh, I see what you're talking about. They and Amber did a whole lot of crap together, especially to us. Yeah, I know. I don't need you to repeat it! Jeez, I didn't know it messed you up that bad. I honestly hate their guts as well, now that you think about it. But you shouldn't be that lousy, and you shouldn't groan about it, you know? <sighs> yes. Maybe they both were just scared. Scared of... something. Scared of what? That's what I'm trying to think of. I know them. They wouldn't do something like that unless we were being pressured. I still think they should have done something to help us! I don't give a damn if they were pressured or something. We needed help! And those two were the only ones left! That still proves my point. There was a chance Roselle and Amber could have tried to help you, but they didn't because... You were doing something. Hell no! We were barely even making noise. We were just talking to them. To help us get out. That was all. Oh my god, Thomas. That was such a play. Hey, bro. Bro, please answer me. I'm sorry. God, she's starting to get on my nerves. Roselle, just keep ignoring her. She'll have to give up at some point. Please, I didn't mean what I said. Sure you didn't. Bro, I know you can hear me. You bet. Oh, alright then. Guess I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry, bro. I really am. I just... Please talk to me when you're ready, of course. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Amber. I, I just, just can't, can't look, look at you, you right now. Hmm? Who could that be? Ah, uh, Amber. Hi, Miss Shedden. I came here to talk to you about, uh, your son, Dan. Come on in. So, what is it about him? Did... did you find him? Um, sorry, no, actually, I just wanted to tell you that, uh, um... Please, just spit it out. Well, he's still missing, and the public has now been informed. He's considered an actual missing person now, and no one can... Well, find him. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, I can't believe this! Oh, my poor Dan. I, I know. I'm sorry, Miss Shedden. I just felt like it was right to let you know. You must be afraid sick about him. Me and Rosella are too. Please, you guys need to do everything you can. He's all I have left since his father isn't in the picture. I need that kid. He means everything to me. <laughs> we'll find him, Miss Shannon. I promise. You better. It's it's my son after all. No need to worry. We will. I'll let you know whatever I find out. We'll do everything we can. Strange. I didn't invite anyone over. I don't think so, at least. I... um... Hi. Rome? What are you doing here? Let me come in. We'll talk. Okay, what's up, Roselle? You've been ignoring me for one week, and now you're suddenly at my house. Why the sudden visit after literally ignoring me? I know, I'm sorry, like, really, really sorry. I know what I did was immature. I was angry and confused while also hurting. That doesn't excuse it, of course, and that was toxic of me. I'm sorry again. I know I've apologized multiple times already, but I do genuinely feel awful. Bro, you really make it hard to stay mad at you, don't you? <laughs> I forgive you, you dorkus. Thank Thank you so much, Amber. <laughs> You're welcome, Ro. You're my best friend. Of course I would forgive you. I'm just glad we're back to normal. Mm-hmm. I've concluded we should probably go back to the school building tonight. It wouldn't hurt to go back in that locker, yeah? That doesn't sound bad. Let's just not argue again, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's honestly old news anyway. Uh, I'm glad we're back to normal, Amber. I know I was a mess. I'm sorry. You're already forgiven, Ro. We're best friends, right? Of course. <sighs> back to normal. Hooray! You guys have to believe me. Come on, please! Will you just drop it already? We've made our stance. Yeah, we have. Drop it, Roselle. But please, can't you see this is actually true? Dan is legit missing and has been classified as a missing person. You can look, he's like, there's literally missing posters about him everywhere, okay? Clearly, I'm not lying. I still don't know. Why else would I be so persistent about this? Just let it go. I don't want to hear about this. But- Look, we've made it clear that this is not going to be a game, Roselle. So just go away. <sighs> You're right. I'm going with you. I know you want to go to the school building later. I believe in you and I'm going to help. But, Ansley- No. You aren't convincing me otherwise. I'm going, Ro. I want to help. It's too dangerous, and You can't go. What if you get hurt? Does it look like I care? No. I'm going, and it's not like you can stop me. And... Look, I... I just want to help. Please, let me help. Fine. Fine. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ants. So... You're going to help then? Yes. Thanks, Hans. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. I guess it took you that much convincing. Whatever. It's not like I had a choice otherwise. With Ains helping or not, I just want to get to the bottom of this. It's getting me more curious in a bad way. It's not like we're gonna just solve this right now. We barely did anything regarding the locker in the first place. I know you guys did. How? Is that just an assumption, or...? 
Yes, I can tell you guys are hard stuck on getting this figured out. That's great and all, but this ain't the time for giving thanks. Come on, I know where the locker is. I'm pretty sure everyone knows where it is. Shut up, it's literally nighttime and I'm getting hazy, so let's just go. Well, open it. Why are you so impatient? Excuse me? Don't worry, I was joking. You're fine. Oh my, what... what is that? I think it's a room. Inside of a locker? Well, it's right in front of us, so yeah, inside of a locker. I wonder if we can even fit through. Sure we can, just gotta budge a little, that's all. I'm so bored. Can we do something while we wait? We could talk. That's about it. That's no fun. I hate waiting for people. I just want the good stuff to happen. I'm sure they'll be back any second. Doing what? Their makeup? Who's taking so much time to just walk? J just calm down. I predict that they're trying to get here as fast as they can. Honestly, Ellie, will you shut up about it for a second? God, it wouldn't hurt for you to stop it. Y'all are such buzzkills. If it means not letting you blow an entire building, I'd be happy to be one. Well, now that you think about it. No! Oh, come on, please! Just a random object out in the grass somewhere? Why would there be a random object, especially in the grass? Because, you know, that one guy that always litters out here, who knows what he might have thrown? Oh, him? Isn't he that one homeless guy that lives at the corners of our streets? Yeah, we're not even close to him, so I don't know why he has the audacity to come to us. Maybe he's taking notes on us or something. For all we know, we have a brand new fan. Now, why the hell would he do that? You don't know what people are trying to do these days for fun. I'm just trying to keep a lookout. That's all. Thomas, the only thing you're looking out for is a bed to sleep on, because sleeping is apparently the only thing everyone sees you doing. I'm just resting for the big stuff. I don't know what big stuff you're referring to, but go ahead. Oh my god, guys. I'm trying to imagine what it would be like if Thomas wasn't talking right now. Excuse me? So far, I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting out of this. Can you not? Right now? Oh, yeah, my bad. I just want those three to walk in already. I'm getting kind of impatient. Honestly! They take so long for anything. I don't know why I'm even surprised. Although, you gotta admit, it's kind of funny. What is? How this is turning out. 